criminal justice scholar Robert Wells was the teacher. And Christopher Wade was the teacher's pet. He always pulled straight A's in all of his classes. But Wells, a former federal agent, was horrified to learn he may have unwittingly taught his favorite pupil how to commit a more perfect murder. And then I placed my hand at her throat. And that bothers you? It bothers me a great deal. So now Wells is trying to end his own sleepless nights and the torment of a young murder victim's family. Oh my God! Ma'am, what's happening? personally taking on the task of finding the final piece to the puzzle of Lee Porter's murder. Where is her body? I'm upset about this to a point where I want to find out for myself. While police were able to catch, convict, and put Christopher Wade behind bars for Lee's murder, the whereabouts of her body remains a mystery that haunts her mother Renee and big brother Max to this day. I want her found more than anything else in this world. I would give up my own life to find her right now. She needs to come home with us. She needs to be somewhere near her family. Lee had always been the apple of her mother's eye, a smart, fun-loving kid who grew up in the little town of Pueblo, Colorado. Why don't you just tell me about Lee? She was funny. She was our family clown. But like a lot of good kids, Lee fell in with a bad crowd as a teenager, developed a heroin habit, and turned into a different girl. She started becoming very depressed. Eventually quitting college and leaving home at 19 to try to beat her addiction and make a fresh start. She had plans on going back into school. Lee's world had suddenly fallen apart, so she decided to start over right here in Denver where an old friend named Christopher Wade had offered to help her move. But it would not turn out the way Lee had expected. And her family would never see her or hear from her again. I got a phone call from my son and he was frantic. And he said, Mom, I have been trying to get a hold of Lee. She won't respond. I was like, okay, something is seriously wrong. Lee's worried mom called Wade, who told her she had left the same day as she arrived. She had gotten a message late that night, and the next thing he saw was her getting into a white truck. Wade seemed to be cooperating with the police. He even led the search to find his young friend, placing numerous items about her disappearance on his Facebook page, including missing posters seeking any information on her whereabouts. Which fits with how Wade's criminal justice teacher, Robert Wells, remembers him as a student at Everest College in Denver. I thought he was a, a good-hearted, well-meaning uh, young man. It was classic Christopher Wade, you know, he wanted to be the knight in shining armor. But police discovered Christopher Wade had some dark secrets, among them that he had been discharged from the army after telling psychiatrists that he had fantasized about breaking into houses and raping and murdering women. And a second police search of Wade's apartment uncovered child pornography on his computer, which rings another bell with Robert Wells. I think he actually done a paper on uh, uh, child pornography, uh, sex trafficking, that type of thing. Police would also find a duffel bag full of women's underwear in his closet and a lot of blood on the floor. He poured bleach in several spots. We were able to actually get DNA samples and blood from the outside of those bleach spots. And then on his mattress, we found several large pools of blood mixed with bleach. That sends chills down the spine of Wade's former criminal justice teacher, Robert Wells. Do you think he used what he learned in your class to commit this crime? Well, talking to uh, uh, the authorities, um, it appears as though he, he may have. We talked about certain ways that perpetrators can go in and commit a murder uh, using bleach to, to clean up blood and crime scenes that make it hard for the forensics to get a good identification on the subjects or the victims uh, or the perpetrators. Wade also learned police couldn't match blood to a victim without a body. So it appears as he, he could have used some of the things that, that we taught in our classes. 
But suddenly, cops think they may be about to find that body when it's discovered Lee's cell phone is emitting signals from the vicinity of a local landfill. We moved about 50,000 tons of debris. Next, what police find there? Lee's brother Max goes undercover, and former federal agent Robert Wells goes after the missing piece of the puzzle. Something had to trigger such a violent act. 